As you can see, we are now a member! <sighs> Cheers! Ding! <sighs> a little ASMR to start the video off. Today we are doing quests, but not only are we going to do quests, I thought I would see how many quests I could do in two hours as a noob. A lot of the early game skilling can be avoided if we do some of the optimal quests at the beginning and kind of just skip the grind a little bit. You have downloaded Runelight, a lot of people suggested that, so thank you for that. And it has this handy dandy little timer function. So we're gonna set it to two hours. I have the optimal quest guide up. I'm just gonna go down the list and do them. To give myself a little bit of a head start, we're gonna start in Alcarid where the first quest we're going to do is. Oh wait, I need 10 gold coins to pass. I forgot. <laughs> let's let's get some gold over here by the gobs. Them gobby gobs. Give me your money. We have enough money now. Woo! We are at the beginning of the first quest, so we are starting this timer. Three, two, one, go! Greetings, I am Hassan, Chancellor to the Emir of al -Karid. Is there anything I can help you with? Well, we do currently have a very urgent issue we need to resolve, and I suppose you look like someone who knows how to get a job done. Are you definitely interested in helping? Be aware that your combat level is lower than the recommended level of 10. Yeah! <laughs> You'll find our spymaster, Osman, just outside the palace. Go to him and tell him I sent you. He will fill you in on the details of our problem. Well, I hope that's not too big of an issue. Oh, my combat level's 3.4. Mm. Osman, I was told by the Chancellor to come and speak to you. Apparently you have an issue that I can help with. That would be an apt description. However, I find you to be an interesting choice by the Chancellor. Why has he chosen to trust you with this task over one of our own? Uh, I just asked if he needed help and he said yes. That man is far too trusting at a time when we must take extra care. However, if he has made his decision, I will not question it. Still, you should know that I will be keeping a close eye on you. Fair enough. So what is this issue? Prince Ali, heir to the Emir of al Karid, has been taken. My spies have already discovered where he is being held, but we need someone to make the rescue. Well, I'm sure I can manage that. How do I go about rescuing him? The prince has been taken by a group of bandits led by the self-proclaimed Lady Kelly. They are holding him in the abandoned jail just east of Brainor Village. According to our information, Kelly is the only one able to freely move around the area. For you to get the prince out, you will need to disguise him as her. She will of course need dealing with first. Why can't I just go in and kill her and her bandits? And endanger the life of the prince in the process? No, there will be no unnecessary risks. We need to do this with as little bloodshed as possible. You make a fair point. Do you know what Kelly looks like? She has blonde hair and wears pink clothes. My daughter Leela, one of my spies, is currently in Draenor Village, keeping an eye on the jail. I'm sure she can help you with the specifics. Before you go, there's one more thing. You'll need a key to get the prince out of his cell. Kelly has the only one. You could steal it, but that seems like a risk we should avoid. But if she is the only copy, and I can't just steal it, how do I get the key? If you bring me an imprint of the key along with a bronze bar I can have copy made for you, you should be able to make an imprint of the key using some soft clay. Of course, you'll need to find a way to get to Kelly to show you the key without causing suspicion. I'm sure Leela can help you with that. Sounds like I should head on over to Drainer Village and see Leela then. Alright, I remember this one was slightly annoying and I also kind of need a combat level of 10. Should I start this and uh, do another one in the process? Now nah, we'll just we'll just do it. <laughs> Let's see how long this first quest takes us. I can't go back through the gate because I'm poor. <laughs> ah! Honestly, we're gonna follow the guide to save us some time because there are a lot of things we need to get and Going there and then coming back is just silly. It's silly. Okay, come on Run faster, please. Okay, pink skirt. Gimme, 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 gimme. All right, we already had the balls of wool from our sheep shirt quest. We have water, got the pink skirt, three beers, and ashes. Pick from the red berry bush. We're gonna mine some tin and copper for the bronze bar. Got wet clay. Oh, a little kitty? Or is that a dog? What is that? Oh, it's a kitty. Seems silly that I can't fill up my bucket from the river, even though that is a very large water source. Bronze bar, woo. So I can fill my bucket up at the fountain, but not at the river. What the hell is a gourmet and bling? I don't know, I decided that I should probably skill up a little bit so I don't go in there and get hit by a guard and die immediately, <laughs> which I did not think about. So obviously 
<laughs> we're we're not going to get a lot of quests done in two hours. Come on, are we really gonna die to this goblin right now? I like how the cows are just watching. Oh, yeah, is that what you think? Hmm? Honestly, that's probably good enough. You must be Leela. Your father sent me to help rescue Prince Ali. Yes, he sent word ahead that you'd be coming. Are you aware of the plan? I need to obtain a copy of the key to the cell, create a disguise for him that makes him look like Kelly, and then break him out of the jail. I'd say that's a good summary. Now, do you have any questions for me? Okay, for the disguise, you'll need a blonde wig, pink skirt, skin paste to hide the black guy he got when they captured him. There's an old sailor in the village who makes rope. Perhaps he can make you a wig. Don't forget to dye it once you have one. Skin paste, there's a local witch who's apparently an expert on sort of potions. I'm sure she can make you some. She also sells dye if you need some for the wig. All right, we're gonna talk to Ned. Hello there, last me. Friends, call me Ned. I was a man of the sea, but it's past me now. Yes, I would like some rope, please. You can sell rope for 15 coins, or you can make some for four balls of wool. Blah, blah, blah. Do you want rope or not? I have balls of wool, could you make me some? A coil of rope, cool. What can I help you with? Can you make skin paste? Yes, I can, I see you already have the ingredients. Blah, 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 blah. She hands you the skin paste. Thank you, dearie, that will make you look good at the rock dances. Okay, red, yellow, or blue? I would like yellow dye, please. Two onions, five coins. Okay, now we use the dye on the wig. Oh wait, did I not make the wig? Can you make other things apart from rope? What are you thinking of? <laughs> could you knit me a sweater? How about a, some sort of wig? Yes, I think I could do something. Give me three balls of wool. A pretty good wig! How's that for a quick effort? Not bad, I think. There's more to you than meets the eye. Use the yellow dye on the wig. Okay, here's the hard part. I have auto retaliate off. We have to get inside the jail without getting attacked by these stupid guards. Okay, I can do this. This guy just has to leave. Ah! <laughs> Close the door! Ha! Are you the famous Lady Kelly, leader of the toughest gang of bandits around? Yes, I am Kelly. You've heard of me then? Heard of you? You're famous in Gillinor. That's very kind of you to say. Reputations are not easily earned. I have managed to succeed where many fail. What's your latest plan then? Why do you want to know? Well, I was actually hoping to join your group. Join us? Interesting. I suppose you do look the type. You'll of course need to properly prove yourself before we let you join us. However, what I can tell you is that we currently have a very valuable prisoner. If all goes well, he will make us very rich. Ah, I see. You must have been very skillful. To catch him? Oh yes, we had to grab him without his bodyguards noticing. It was a stroke of genius. Mostly my doing, of course. How do you know someone won't try to free him? There is no way to release him. The only key to his cell is on a chain around my neck, and the locksmith who made it died very suddenly. There isn't another key like this in the world. Could I see the key, please? Why? It would be something I can tell my grandchildren when you are even more famous than you are now. Well, I suppose there's no harm in letting you see it. After all, you have no hope of stealing it. Kelly shows you a small key on a strong-looking chain. Could I touch the key for a moment, please? Well, only for a moment, then. As you touch the key, you take an imprint of it using your soft clay. Thank you so much, you are too kind. You are welcome, but run along now. I'll need some time to consider your quest to join us. Now we have to go all the way back to al -Karid. And this guy's outside the door! Can you not? He's waiting for me. I'm just gonna have to run. Ah! <laughs> Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> I have an imprint of the key. You give Osman the imprint along with the bronze bar. I will use this to have a copy of the key made. I'll send it to Leela once it's ready. <laughs> and now we have to go all the way back. Yay! It's really gonna take me over an hour to finish this quest. All right, you're back. Do you have everything needed? I do. Good work. Now, before breaking the prince out, you'll need to find a way to deal with his personal guard. He's talkative, so try to find a weakness. Remember, we don't want any unneeded violence. All right, I'll go have a chat to this guard. Before you go, my father sent this for you. Gives you the key. Oh, 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 no! Go, go, go! Talk to Joe. Hi there. What do you want? <laughs> what did you want to be when you were a boy? I have some beer here, fancy one. Ah, oh, that would be lovely. Only one though, just to wet my throat. Of course, it must be tough being here without a drink. You hand a beer to the guard. He drinks it in seconds. That was perfect, I can't thank you enough. Would you care for another beer, my friend? I'd better not. I don't want to be drunk on duty. Here, just keep these for later. I hate to see a thirsty guard. We hand two more beers to the guard. He takes a sip of one, and then he quickly drinks them both. 
Drinks that was just what I need to stay on guard. No more beer, so I don't want to get drunk. And you just use this rope on her. You overpower Kelly. Tie her up and put her in a cupboard. <laughs> Prince Ali, I'm here to rescue you. Oh, thank goodness. What's your plan? Take this disguise. You can use it to get past the guards outside. Thank you, my friend. I must leave you now, but my father will pay you well for this. He puts on the disguise and uses it to escape. All right, now I must go back, all the way back to get my reward. And this guy won't leave me alone. How can you see me through the wall? I can now pass through this gate without paying because I have saved the prince. Prince Ali is home safe. You have the eternal gratitude of the emir for rescuing his son. Please take this payment as a thank you. One quest done in an hour. You've completed Prince Ali rescue. Three quest points, 700 coins, free use of the Alcarid toll gate. And at least we have a little more money. Okay, next quest. Welcome to the Church of Holy Sarah Doman. I'm looking for a quest. That's lucky, I need someone to do a quest for me. Before starting this, beware, blah 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 blah. The problem is there is ghosts in the church graveyard. I would like you to get rid of it. If you need any help, my friend Father Ernie is an expert on ghosts. I believe he's currently living as a hermit in Lumbridge Swamp. He has a little shack in the far west of the swamps. Exit the graveyard through the south gate to reach the swamp. I'm sure if you told him that I sent you, he'd be willing to help. My name is Father Eric, by the way. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Take care traveling through the swamps. I've heard they can be quite dangerous. I will, thanks. Hello? Go away, I'm meditating. Father Eric sent me to talk to you. I suppose I'd better talk to you then. What problems has he got himself into this time? He's got a ghost hunting his graveyard. Oh, the silly fool. I leave town for just five months and already he can't manage. <sighs> Well, I can't go back and exercise it. I vowed not to leave this place until I had done a full two years of prayer and meditation. Tell you what I can do, though. Take this amulet. He hands you an amulet. It's an amulet of ghost speak. So called because when you wear it, you can speak to ghosts. A lot of ghosts are doomed to be ghosts because they have left some important task uncompleted. Maybe if you know what this task is, you can get rid of the ghost. I'm not making any guarantees, mind you, but it's the best I can do right now. Thank you, I will give it a try. I absolutely cannot be bothered to just walk all the way back. Oh, there's the ghosty ghost. I like his hat. Hello, ghost. How are you? Not very good, actually. What's the problem, then? Did you just understand what I said? Yep, now tell me what the problem is. Wow, this is incredible. I didn't expect anyone to ever understand me again. Okay, okay, I can understand you, but have you any idea why you're doomed to be a ghost? Well, to be honest, I'm not sure. I've been told a certain task may need to be completed so you can rest in peace. I should think it is probably because a warlock has come along and stolen my skull. If you look inside my coffin there, you'll find my corpse without a head in it. Do you know where this warlock might be now? I think it was one of the warlocks who live in the big tower by the sea, southwest from here. Okay, I will try and get the skull back for you, then you can rest in peace. Oh, thank you. That would be such a good relief. It is so dull being a ghost. Can confirm, there is no skull in there. I know that I'm going to do rune mysteries as well, so hopefully it's not too confusing for you, but I'm gonna start that quest so I can, you know, save time traveling. Greetings, welcome to my castle. Have you any quests for me? Well, I wouldn't describe it as a quest, but there's something I could use some help with. What is it? We were recently sorting through some of the things stored down in the cellar, and we found this old talisman. The Order of Wizards over at the Wizard's Tower has been on the hunt for magical artifacts recently. I wonder if this might be just the kind of thing they're after. Yes, no problem. When you arrive, look for Cerador. He's the Archmage of the Wizards there. Might as well kill two birds with one stone when we go to Wizard's Tower because traveling takes so dang long. Welcome, adventurer, to the world-renowned Wizard's Tower, home to the Order of Wizards. We are the oldest and most prestigious group of wizards around. Are you Cerador? Er... Cedridor? Cedridor, what is it you want with him? The Duke of Lumbridge sent me to find him. I have this talisman he found. He said Cedridor would be interested in it. Did he now? We'll hand it over then and we'll see what all the hubbub is about. Doesn't seem to be anything too special, just a normal air talisman by the looks of things. Still looks can be deceiving. Let me take a closer look. He murmurs some kind of incantation and it glows slightly. How interesting. It would appear I spoke too soon. There's more to this talisman than meets the eye. In fact, it may well be the last piece of the puzzle. Puzzle? Indeed, the lost legacy of the first tower. This talisman may in fact be key to finding the Forgotten Essence Mine. First tower, Forgotten Essence Mine, what are you on about? Uh, my apologies, adventurer. Allow me to fill you in. As you are likely aware, when we cast spells, we do so using the power of runes. These runes are crafted from a highly unique material, then imbued with magical power from various runic altars. 
Different altars create different runes with different magical effects. The process of imbuing runes is called rune crafting. Legend has it that this was once a common art. The secrets of how to do it were lost until just under 200 years ago. Rediscovery of rune crafting has such a large impact on the world that it marked the dawn of the fifth age. It also resulted in the birth of our order and the construction of the first wizard's tower. If it was the first tower, I'm guessing it doesn't exist anymore. What happened? It was burnt down by traitorous members of our own order. They followed the evil god of chaos, Zamorak, and they wished to claim our magical discoveries in his name. When the tower burnt down, much was lost, including an important incantation, a spell that could be used to teleport to a hidden essence mine. The essence mine you mentioned earlier, I assume? Precisely. Rune essence is the material used to make runes, but it's incredibly rare. That essence mine was the only place it could be found that our order knew of. Since the incantation was lost, we have struggled to maintain our stocks of rune essence. Seemingly, those out there that will know where to find some, but while they have been willing to sell essence to us, they have refused to share knowledge on how to find it ourselves. I'm starting to see why this is so important, so you think this talisman can help you rediscover that incantation? I do. All magic leaves traces, and from what I can tell, this talisman was used heavily during the time of the first tower. It would have been taken to the essence mine many times, and the magical energies there will have left an imprint on it, to think that it was hidden in Lumbridge all this time. So what happens now? It is critical I share this discovery with my associate, Aubrey, as soon as possible. He's not much of a wizard, but he's an expert on runecrafting, and his insight will be essential. Would you be willing to visit him for me? I would go myself, but I wish to study this talisman some more. Of course. Certainly. He runs a rune shop in the southeast of Farag. Please take this package of research notes to him. If all goes well, the secrets of the essence mine may soon be ours once more. Best of luck, cowboy froggo. I don't remember telling you my name. How do you know it? Really, now, I am the archmage, you know. I like how he just has a little chicken in here. Now we are back to the restless ghost. We have to search this altar over here. The skeleton will pop up and we're just going to have to um, run. Run! You didn't even attack me. So I have the skull now and I can go back to Lumbridge. All right, bud, I got your head. How are you doing finding my skull? I found it. Hurrah, now I can stop being a ghost. You just need to put in my coffin there and I will be free. Release. Thank you, stranger. There he goes. Whoa. Into the river. <laughs> All right. Second quest done. And it's... We've got 38 minutes left. Okay. One quest point. Lots of prayer XP and the amulet. Our prayer is now 10. Oh, our combat level is 5. That's cool. Now we have to head to Varrock for the... Rune Mysteries quest. I think the best we can do is fit in these three quests in two hours. <laughs> wow, quests take a lot longer than I thought that they did because this walk-in takes forever. And we don't have energy potions to help us get there faster. And we don't have teleports yet. I'm also semi doing Iron Man. I'm going to do my best to avoid using the Grand Exchange as much as possible. I just think I can get more out of the game that way, even though it would be easier to use a Grand Exchange. Which version of it was where you could sit and recharge your energy? I just, I remember that and that was awesome. I have been sent here with a package for you. A package? From who? From Cedridor at the Wizard's Tower. But surely you can't have- please let me have it. It must be extremely important for him to have sent a stranger. Now let's have a look. He goes to the package of research notes. This is incredible. My gratitude to you, adventurer, for bringing me these research notes. Thank you, I think we finally have it. You mean the incantation? Well, when we combine my own research with this latest discovery, I think we might just... No, 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 I'm getting ahead of myself. The signs are promising, but let's not jump to any conclusions just yet. Take these notes back to Cedridor. They should hopefully give him everything he needs. Honestly, this, this is why you get sucked into RuneScape and spend hours playing just because of the transportation. It took me about five minutes, five minutes to get all the way over here from Varrock. How goes your quest? Have you delivered my research? Yes, I have. He gave me some notes to give you. Wonderful. Let's have a look at them. You hand the notes to Cedridor. All right, let's see what Aubrey has for us. Yes, this is it. The Lost Incantation. So you'll be able to access that essence mine now? That's right, because of you, our order finally has a proper source of rune essence again. Thank you, friend. If you ever want to access the essence mine yourself, just let me know, it's the least I can do. 
I will also share the incantation with others, including Aubrey. When I do, I'll let them know that you are to be given unlimited access to the mine. Oh, and you can have this air talisman back as well. I have no further need of it, and I'm sure you will find it useful. In case you didn't know, the talisman can be used to craft air runes. Just take it to the air altar south of Falador, along with some rune essence. Don't worry, if you can't find the altar, the talisman can guide you there. You may find talismans for other altars as well while adventuring. They'll let you craft other types of rune. Great, thanks. My pleasure. Alright, we finished this quest. You have completed rune mysteries, you awarded one quest point, an air talisman, rune essence, mine access. There is a quest I want to start while we're here. It's the Imp Catcher just to get that on the ground running, but I know that we probably won't finish it in time. Give me a quest. Give me a quest what? Give me a quest, please. Well, seeing as you asked nicely, I could do with some help. The wizard, Grayzag, next door decided he didn't like me, so he enlisted an army of hundreds of imps. These imps stole all sorts of my things. Most of these things I don't really care about, just eggs and balls of string and things. But they stole my four magical beads. There was a red one, a yellow one, a black one, and a white one. These imps have now spread out all over the kingdom. Could you get my beads back for me? I'll try. That's great, thank you. I know that imps drop beads not very often, so it will take a while to do that. Alright, I'm back. I have had some sustenance in me. I've drank some water. You should drink some water if you have not. Stay hydrated. We are going to do the Stronghold of Security, because why not? Um, I read that you can do it at a low level as long as you have food with you, so I'm hoping this is enough. We're, we're gonna try it. I have generated all of my run energy. <laughs> you rummage around in the dead explorer's bag. You find a book of handwritten notes. Am I supposed to read it? Blah, blah, blah. The stronghold was unearthed by a miner prospecting for new ores around the barbarian village. He ventured into the maze of tunnels, was missing for a long time. He mentioned there was a treasure to be had, but no one has been able to wring a word from him about this. Greetings, adventurer. This place is kept safe by the spirits within the doors. As you pass through, you will be asked questions about security. Hopefully, you will learn much from us. Please pass through and begin your adventure. Beware of the various monsters that dwell within. Oh my, I just got sucked through that door. What a weird feeling. Still, I guess I should expect it, as these evidently aren't your average kind of doors. They talk and look creepy. <laughs> to pass through, you must answer me this. What do you do if someone asks you for your password or bank pin to make you a player moderator? Quite good, but we should try to stop scammers, so please report them using the report reviews button. Run! Level 12s? Okay. <laughs> Alright, we made it to the first reward. <laughs> Unscathed! Open the gift of peace! Congratulations, adventurer! You have been deemed worthy of this reward. You have also unlocked the flap emote. <gasps> the flap emote! The next one, here we go. Run! No, keep running! Okay, that wasn't too bad. Okay, that one was fairly simple. The grain of plenty. We got three more K. The slap head emote! Ooh, oozing barriers. <gasps> Five? That was rude. Oh, they look like dinosaurs over there. The trickiest part about this one is getting past these level 64s. Ah! Go, 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 go! <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Okay, third level completed. Ooh, we got 5k. And we have unlocked the idea emote. <laughs> cool. I don't know if we can make this last level, but we can try our best. Oh, I was not expecting things to be there right away. I like this level, it's cool looking. Alright, I kind of want to wait for my run energy to just regenerate a little more because these are level 86 and 77 and that is scary. But they are the last things I need to get through until the end. Go! Go, 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 go! Run! Run as fast as you can! Okay. <laughs> we did it! I thought this was like a final boss, but luckily he does not look like that. Can you hear me? I can, but I'm not wearing an amulet of ghost speak. Am I dead? I'm no ghost, I'm a spirit. I'm injecting my thoughts into your head. Oh, that's interesting. Also rather disturbing. Try not to think about it. Who are you? I am Sultan, the greatest barbarian explorer. 
It's very nice to meet you, Sultan. I'm Cowboy Frago. I know. So, you were exploring this place? Yes, my sister told me not to go. She said it was dangerous and that I'm no fighter. Unfortunately, she was correct. Oh, your sister is Litara, the woman out on the surface. How come she was correct? I died, of course. I tried escaping long before I'd made it to the treasure, but I was shot with the arrows just as I approached the exit. Nobody came to help? Oh no, they had no idea I was hurt. I guess they assumed I'd found the treasure and made a new life for myself. Were you not a fan of the barbarian lifestyle? It was all death and pillaging. I prefer the finer things in life, like exploration and discovery. Uh, I too enjoy those. Why are you here? I came for treasure. Oh right, you were looking for what's in that cradle? Yes, but alas, I'm dead. I guess I could show you for a price. <laughs> mm, I don't have much to offer, but if you happen upon a skull scepter, I can make it stronger. Stronger, you say? In what way? Currently, the scepter is fragile. It breaks once all charges have been used. Show me the treasure and I could imbue it so it can be recharged with any scepter piece. You, my dead friend, have a deal. I was reading on the wiki and the skull scepter is some entirely different thing down here, which I'm not going to do. Welcome, adventurer. You have a choice. You can choose between these two pairs of boots. They will both protect your feet exactly the same, however they look very different. You can always come back and get another pair if you lose them, or even swap them for the other style. Um, obviously I'm gonna do the colorful ones. You have successfully navigated the stronghold of security and learned to secure your account. You unlock the stamp foot emote. Remember to keep your account secure in the future. Now I can stamp my feet with my rainbow boots. Now we have rainbow boots and 10k, which is very helpful because before we were very poor. Okay, we are going to do two more quests today. Hello, are you okay? Do I look okay? Those kids drive me crazy. I'm sorry, it's just that I lost her. Lost who? Fluffs, poor Fluffs, she never hurt anyone. Who's Fluffs? My beloved feline friend Fluffs, she's been purring by my side for almost a decade. Please could you go search for her while I look over the kids? I suppose I could. Really? Thank you so much. I really have no idea where she could be. I think my sons, Shillip and Willow, saw the cat last. They'll be out in the marketplace. Alright then, I'll see what I can do. So I saw that I need a bucket of milk, got that, and seasoned sardines, so I can use these dougal leaves on a raw sardine. And now it's a seasoned sardine. Alright, Shylop. Hello there, I've been looking for you. I didn't mean to take it, I just forgot to pay. What? I'm trying to help your mom find Fluffs. Oh, well in that case I might be able to help. Fluffs followed me to my secret play area, I haven't seen her since. Where is this play area? If I told you that, it wouldn't be a secret. <laughs> tell me, Sunny, or I will hurt you. What will make you tell me? Well, now you ask, I am a bit short on cash. How much? 100 coins should cover it. 100 coins? Why should I pay you? You shouldn't, but I won't help otherwise. I never liked the cat anyway, so what do you say? Alright then, I'll pay. You give the lad a hundred coins. There you go, now where did you see Fluffs? I just play at an abandoned lumber mill to the northeast, just beyond the Jolly Boar Inn. I saw Fluffs running around in there. Anything else? Well, you'll have to find the broken fence to get in. I'm sure you can manage that. And now we're down a hundred coins because of this kid. What is he gonna buy with that anyway? Okie dokie, climb over the broken fence. <gasps> Meow. Okay, climb up this ladder. Gertrude's cat fluffs. And she hisses at me. Maybe the cat is thirsty? Here's milk. <laughs> Maybe the cat is hungry? Here's a sardine. Now let me pick you up. Nope. The cat seems afraid to leave. In the distance, you can hear kittens mewing. Well, I guess I'll search the crates then. Are you in here? No. Are you in here? No. Are you in here? <gasps> you find a kitten! You carefully place it in your backpack. Here is your kitten. Now, can I pick you up? Fluffs has run off home with her offspring. Okay. Gertrude! Hello, Gertrude. Fluffs ran off with her kitten. You're back, thank you. Thank you. Fluffs just came back. I think she was just upset as she couldn't find her kitten. Gertrude gives you a hug. If you hadn't found her kitten, it would have died out there. That's okay, I like to do my bit. <laughs> I don't know how to thank you. I have no real material possessions. I do have kittens. I can only really look after one. Well, if it needs a home. 
I would sell it to my cousin in West Ardone. I hear there's a rat epidemic there, but it's too far. Here you go, look after her and thank you again. Oh, by the way, the kitten can live in your backpack, but to make it grow, you must take it out and feed it and stroke it often. Gertrude gives you kitten. <laughs> Yo, why'd they do my girl Fluffs dirty like that? She deserves better. One quest point. Lots of cooking XP for some reason. A kitten, a chocolate cake, and some stew. Look at my kitten! Oh. <laughs> Gilbert? Hello, Gilbert. Can I have a flower crown? Of course you can. I'll even give you a lovely rainbow scarf to go with it. <gasps> what? For free? There you go. Thank you, I'll wear them with pride. Aw, hey, that's cute. The meadow is looking lovely. I know, it didn't always look like this though. It used to be dull and gray. Dull and gray? How did it become so colorful? An adventurer came along and helped me out. We cast a magic spell using flower seeds and it created this lovely sunburst. Oh, I'd have liked to have seen that spell. It sounds impressive. It was. The news traveled far. I've been getting lots of visitors. Many flower traders from across the lands have paid the meadow a visit. I've even traded with a few for some new flower seeds with different colors. New flower seeds? What types? Well, as you may have noticed, you can change the color of the flowers on your flower crown now. Turns out the spell I cast was more powerful than I first thought. So powerful that it made eight new colorations all as beautiful as the first. That's amazing, and all because we wanted a little splash of color. Don't underestimate the power of a little splash of color. I'll make sure not to. Gilbert! It's gonna match my boots now. <gasps> Aww! Jagex? Being inclusive? That's so adorable! Rainbow! Starting the last quest of the day, which is Potion. What could you want with an old woman like me? I'm in search of a quest. Hmm, maybe I can think of something for you. Would you like to become more proficient in the dark arts? Help me become one with my darker side. Okay, I'm going to make a potion to help bring out your darker self. You'll need certain ingredients. What do I need? You need an eye of newt, a rat's tail, an onion, oh, and a piece of burnt meat. Okay, I'll go get them. All right, so we already got the onion on our way here. We got some rats over here that we can destroy. We are obviously having some difficulties killing this tiny little rat. Come on, you can do it. Rat tail acquired. Gonna kill a giant rat. Mind your business. Wow, he, he just can't stay away. <laughs> Since you waited so patiently, it's your turn now. This rat is kicking my ass. Hopefully one of these will burn. Nope. Nope. Yes, okay, we got burnt meat. Okay, and apparently we can get the Eye of Newt at a magic shop over here. Hello, Betty. Welcome to my magic emporium. All right, Eye of Newt. Cool. I've been looking for those ingredients. What have you found? In fact, I have everything. Excellent. Can I have them then? Pass the ingredients to Hetty. She puts them all into her cauldron. Hetty closes her eyes and begins to chant. The cauldron bubbles mysteriously. Well, is it ready? Okay, now drink from the cauldron. I shall take a little sip. You drink from the cauldron and tastes horrible. You feel yourself imbued with power. Quest complete! <laughs> One quest point and 325 magic XP. Cool. Stats are slowly but surely increasing. We got a little bit of magic, a little bit of prayer. Combat is slowly creeping up. We got some crafting going on, some wood cutting, fire making, and cooking is our highest right now. And fishing. Mm, mushrooms are cute. We'll kill some imps at the end, maybe get a bead or two, I don't know. Just maybe. Of course, of course, they always run away. Die, die, die. Give me a bead, give me a bead. No bead. What? That's awful. <gasps> I got a bead! That wasn't too bad. Bread? <laughs> drop a bead, drop a bead. No beads. What are these things? An impling who likes magic. Magic! Can I catch it? Am I able to catch it? You need a hunter level of at least 52 to catch this impling barehanded. Wow. What, are, what did they do? I'm curious. An essence impling can be a very worthwhile impling to catch due to the large amount of valuable runes that it provides, such as law runes, blood runes, and nature runes. Okay, interesting. Stop moving. Stop moving. 
just die already. I found you and I will destroy you. <gasps> yeah! I'm just, I hate these so much that I'm determined to get all the beads right now and <laughs> we shall see. Stop running away. <laughs> bead, bead, bead. No, drop the dang bead. Ball of wool, okay. For a second I really thought that that was a white bead and I got excited. Bead, end sold imp head. Wait, <gasps> a black bead. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. What is this? The creature's soul is still in here. I could reanimate it with basic reanimation. All right, we got one more bead. We gotta go for it. We gotta get it. <laughs> a mind talisman, okay. <sighs> yellow bead, I already have a yellow bead. Just give me the dang white bead. <laughs> I'm really leveling up here, killing these imps. White bead, white bead, white bead. Bread dough. Give me the white bead. Give it to me. Give me the white bead. Just hand it over. We could have done this civilly, but you decided to be a little bitch. Dude, you can't just go over the moat like that. That's not fair. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Give me the white bead. You can do it. Just give it to me. Come on, come on, come on! <sighs> what is the purpose of this quest? To teach perseverance? Dedication? What, the, what, what, what's the reason? I, I don't understand. Why do they have to be so annoying to kill? I'm so glad I have two black beads now. So glad. Wow, how rare is this white bead drop? How rare is it? <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. <gasps> Finally. Finally. I hate imps with a passion. Stupid little imps. They're stupid little swords and their stupid little legs and wings. Well, that took a while. Yeah. Yeah, that took a while. But we did it. Don't, don't even try me right now. <laughs> we made it to combat level 10 after killing all those imps. We really leveled up there. I mean, my skog, I got your stupid beads. Got all four beads, it was hard work, I can tell you. Give them here and I'll check that they really are my beads before I give you your reward. You'll like it, it's an amulet of accuracy. Well, I hope he's happy with his beads. Got one quest point, 875 magic, and an amulet of accuracy. Alright, it looks like amulet of accuracy gives some attack bonuses. We've been getting these bonus like adventure path rewards. For fishing, we got a fishing rod and some bait, and now we got 500 coins and a steel longsword. And then for strength, we got five trout, leather boots, leather gloves. Oh, we get extra for being a member. And then for getting started with magic, we receive runes and a staff. Striking a pose. That's a lot. Okay, adventure paths are good because we get just a lot of free extra stuff. Okay, we are ending it here. We've done quite a bit. A lot of early game quests and such, and we completed the stupid imp catcher quest. I hate that quest so much. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching me as a runescape noob go through the early stages of the game, get some levels up. We're getting there. Uh, next time, we'll see where we go. I really appreciate all the positive feedback on my last runescape video. You guys are so supportive and that's amazing, I appreciate you. Um, thank you for suggesting things to me. If you'd like to see any other games on this channel, let me know, I would love to check them out. As always, stay hydrated, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.